Ah, the Venetian blinds effect. What better way to showcase it than on a moody photo of some Venetian blinds? It can be found underneath the transition category, and when you apply it to a layer, it gives you some very simple controls. First, we have the transition completion, which will just eat away at whatever layer you've applied it to. If I turn my transparency grid on, you can see those pixels are actually transparent. We can also change the direction so that they actually mimic Venetian blinds, not the vastly inferior vertical blinds. And we can change the width of this as well. So we can have much thicker lines and even feather it out if we want a softer edge. So now it looks like we're looking through some Venetian blinds at a moody photo of Venetian blinds. Now, all sarcasm aside, I actually really like the Venetian blinds effect. It has some really great uses, like the ability to just generate some stripes. So if I made a white solid and I applied the Venetian blinds effect to it, set the transition completion to 50 and the direction to 90, and then I made a black solid below it, then I could pre-compose these two layers together with Control Shift C or Command Shift C on a Mac and call this stripes. And within that comp, I can adjust all of these same controls to make this however we want. We could even do diagonal lines if we wanted to. And then back in this comp, I could distort it, maybe add a twirl effect, increase the angle, increase the radius, and get something that's very unique looking. Now I'd probably wanna make my pre-comp a little bit bigger so that we're not seeing these holes, but you can use a number of different distortion effects like maybe turbulent displace. to really warp those stripes. I could change the turbulence to say bulge or even twist to get something a little less crazy and animate it using the evolution. It's a really great tool for generating these kind of symmetrical patterns and then taking it from there and turning it into something completely different. It's a pretty basic effect with some really powerful applications. But that's Venetian blinds in a nutshell. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.